crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. It is time for our copy and selectively edit card. Um, our inspiration is coming from the 2022 to 2023 annual catalog, page 166 today, and this is the card that we're using. Um, this one is using the Sending Smiles bundle. I am going to be using... Trees for Sale, which is available in the new mini catalog, um, which started on July the 1st. It goes until the end of December. There is also coordinating dies available, um, which are in the celebration brochure. Now, if you don't have a celebration brochure but would like one, please let me know and I would be happy to get one to you. These are the dies. They're so cute. Um, this little camper trailer stole my heart the second that I saw it. Now, the, the dies are free with a $120 purchase before tax and shipping. And Celebration is filled with all kinds of really good, um, unique products that are free with either a $60 or $120 purchase before tax and shipping. So now, the sun's coming out. It was pouring here not too long ago, and it actually looks like there's still quite a few gray clouds rolling. So we'll see what we can get into. Uh, the lighting might vary slightly. I love having a huge window in my craft room. It gets very bright in here very quick. So we've got a little basic white tag. rig. Now all of the measurements that are over on my blog, which is linked down below, um, I've got a basic white card base. T Boutique was the paper that I decided to use for this one. Um, I'm using soft suede, granny apple green, and basic white as my colors. The ink colors that I'm using, Granny Apple Green and Old Olive, as well as Early Espresso. I like the Early Espresso just ink just a little bit more than the suede. Um, it's got, to me anyway, it's got a little bit more depth. So we are going to create a card on a diagonal. Um, I'm going to use just the larger tree because I also want to use this little dog. He is super cute. Um, and I didn't want to draw attention away from him. I am absolutely a dog person. We've got actually, I'm a pet person. We have a whole zoo at our house. Um, we've got fish and chickens outside. We've got two dogs, two cats, a rabbit and a guinea pig. So yeah, it's a little, we love critters. All right, so I wanna make sure that that's fully inked up. There we go. Now I have already used this. Oh, that's really pretty. So it, I don't need to do my little tester piece, which I usually do when I have a photopolymer stamp because sometimes there's a little bit of residue left over. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're gonna get a good clean impression. So stamp case with my chamois inside of it. This guy in and grab our big tray close up this it gets really warm in here really quickly when the Sun just does decide that it's gonna come out now photopolymer makes it dead easy to do two-step stamping because you can see exactly where your impression is going to land there we go this guy a bit of a clean now to clean the chamois all you need to do is run it under some water you can use a little bit of soap um, just a tiny bit though because it is basically a sponge um, and it does create a lot of suds you can even throw it in your washing machine but don't put it in the dryer okay so there's this guy done and grab our dog who's got a dimensional back stuck to him i'm gonna use my smaller block just because I don't want to have any ink overruns. Stamp him up. And I'll just have him kind of running towards the tree. This guy back. Now, some colors do stain your stamps. Um, browns can give it kind of a red tint. Reds are really particularly 
staining um, and some blues, like the darker blues can stain as well. You can get around that. Um, the staining doesn't affect the quality of your stamp, but you can either stamp it off several times with a lighter color ink, like uh, maybe Crumb Cake or Blushing Bride, and just ink, just to kind of season it. So stamp it on the pad and stamp it off a few times. You can also do the same thing with Versamark. Um, and it'll build up, it's kind of like seasoning a frying pan. It'll kind of build up that layer. Okay, so we are going to layer our paper. So again, this is from Tea Boutique. So we're gonna layer this guy on. And do a diagonal. I was gonna go square, but I really do like diagonal shapes and this is handy because if you wanted to you could use the lines on the card or on the paper to make sure that you're square generally I'm okay with ish though straight ish works it's handmade I don't think anybody's going to be measuring to make sure that it's exactly square I've also been doing this for a while so I've gotten pretty good at determining if it's centered. Okay, so there's our dog, there's our tree. Um, I was going to, actually, we're gonna change it up. I was going to do um, a tag, but I think we're just going to do this. And so, funny story. I did my video first thing this morning, and it was perfect. I loved how the card turned out. I didn't hit record, so I talked to myself for I don't know twenty minutes, half an hour. Um, this is the card that I had originally created. So I ended up stamping and fussy cutting this guy to create the flag. Um, but this one is slightly different. So I think I am just going to stamp Very Merry in Early Espresso. And then we're gonna add something else. I also hadn't really intended this to be a Christmas card. My original thought that it would be a masculine birthday. Um, but Christmas season will be here before we know it. And I will probably not have enough cards made. So might as well get a start on it now. Um, so the thing that I'm going to add are the wonderful snowflakes. They are back. And... I absolutely love them. So I'm just going to tuck. There is a shiny side and a matte side. Uh, the large dimensionals actually fit perfectly in the center. So we're going to grab this. And we're going to center. I love these. You can also color them with blends. So if you're doing a blue card or a purple card or whatever color Christmas card or holiday card that you want to be making with it, um, you can color your snowflake to match. 